Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix if the Babel app is just not working. So it's going to either be that it's not opening, a feature is not working, just something is not working with the app. Then I got you guys four easy ways in order to fix any issue you are currently having with the Babel app. So number one, the easiest way in order to fix any issue with the Babel app is simply heading over to settings. And this is a pretty common issue that when you head over to settings, click on Babel. And what you need to do is make sure that background app refresh is enabled. If this is disabled and you keep the app open in the background and when you reopen it, it's called sometimes cause issues with it just not working because it was not capable of updating in the, basically in the background. So just make sure the background app refresh is enabled. If you've already enabled that and it's still not working, then the second thing I got to recommend is heading over into the App Store, or Google Play Store, and click on Settings or Search. Sorry. Once you've done that, just type in the Babel app. So what we're going to do is we are going to type in the Babel app just like this, and then just click on the app. And what we're going to make sure to do is you've guessed it already. We're going to update the app. If there is, if you have not updated the Babel app for a really long time, then this could cause some issues with the app. So I'll just always recommend making sure that you have actually updated to the latest version. Also, there could be some updates with if there's something just wrong with the app, they will also fix bugs. So yeah, if you've already updated to the latest version and the Babel app is just still not working in any way or form, then the third thing I would recommend doing is clearing the cache over on the Babel app. So on Android and iPhone, it's a little bit different. On Android, you need to scroll down to find the Babel app right here, basically where we already were for uh, enabling and disabling background app refresh. On iPhone, you need to click on general, iPhone storage, and then basically what we need to do is find the Babel app. So we're just going to scroll a little bit down until we find it, just like this. I'm going to quickly find it right now. And for me, it's right here. What you want to do is you want to click on it. And then on Android, you will simply have a clear cache button. On iPhone, we don't have this button. We do have an offload app button. And when you click on that, you will basically be able to clear the cache of the entire app. It will hard reset the app and it will actually reinstall the app. The best part is that it will keep all the data over on your device. So it's basically more like a hard reset. So yeah, just click on it and then basically reinstall it again. And once you've done that, everything will still be there. You will still be logged into your account. It's like you have basically just done a hard reset and sometimes this fixes a lot of issues you are having with this specific app. So I'd recommend doing that. And for the last fix, if nothing has been working, then what I would recommend doing is just reinstalling uh, the app. So you can click on remove app. And once you've done that, you can simply go ahead to the Google Play Store app store and type in the Babel app and you will be able to reinstall it. The problem is that when you do this, most of your data will most likely be lost if it's not back up or on a cloud. So do be a little bit cautious with this that it will most likely delete all your process or progress and all your data so yeah that's basically the four easiest ways in order to fix any issue you are having with the Babel app so if you learned something from this video then please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel and also let me down now in the comments which fix fix it for you so that being said i hope i will see you in the next youtube tutorial video